Hi, hello, welcome and welcome to at another episode on Little's Law YouTube channel. So you have seen on how to create a web API in our previous video. So today we are going to see about the populations and how to distribute the users effectively. So say for example, uh, we have a user load and we are asked to distribute them to multiple scripts. And if the numbers are in proper values, say for example, like five users for the script one and 10 users for script two and 10 users for script three and five users for script four and 30 users for script five and 40 users for script four. So it is easy for us to divide if the numbers are very easy to distribute based on the percentage. What if the numbers comes in uh, undivided number? Say for example, instead of numbers having, instead of five, 10, 10, and five, 30, and 40, what if the number comes as 11, 13, 17, 19, 50. Can we distribute them to 100% and run the test with 110, 110 users? The total users come here as 110. But how can we divide this into 100% or how can we execute it? Is there any option do we have? Yes, there is an option that we have in Neoload. Before we look into it and before we find how to do it, I welcome you all to another episode on Little's Law YouTube channel. If you have not subscribed the video, please do subscribe the video, subscribe the channel, like the video and share the video with your friends. So let's now see how to divide the percentage into numbers. So, so far in Neoload, we have only the option of distributing the users into percentage and not in numbers. Even in tools like JMeter and Load Runner, we have options to divide in numbers but here we have option only to divide in percentage and there is no option to divide into numbers so let's now see that how to do it so let us let me just take you through the process so for now i will divide the percentage so let me just take you to the sexual sheet here and this is the previous percentage what we have. And now the percentage is going to divide into different numbers, which I can take into take it like this. So instead of 5, 10, 10, 5, 30, 40, which comes as a total of 100 users, what if it is 11, 10, 5, 13, 16, 56, how will you do it? The total number is 111, which is 111. How are we going to distribute it? Let me tell you that, how to do it. So first thing is, first we have to design that in the population. So what we have to do is, we will need to create every single user into a different population. So now I'm taking, the first script, the admin user here. And next is going to be, let me just take the second user. So second script is going to be here. And then the third script. And now the fourth script. And next, the fifth and the sixth scripts separately, like we do it for the other scripts. So now we have distributed these six scripts separately and 
make sure that every user's percentage is 100. So let's now change the script here. So the first user is going to be 100% and any changes other than that, it depends on all your requirement. The only change which we have to make sure is, make sure you have the right script and the percentage has to be 100%. Only then we can take the exact users which we want to run. Now the third user with 100% and now the fourth script and next the fifth and last the sixth script. So now we have distributed all the six scripts into different populations. So now we are ready. So let's now move to the runtime. So here, once you have distributed the different populations, you can see all of them come, all of them has been displayed into different populations. So let's now create a scenario here. So the scenario, let us make it as Littles Law, Littles Law underscore one, 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 triple one users. And any changes like we have discussed earlier in our previous video. So any other changes we can make it here, like the, uh, the pre monitoring and the post monitoring. Let's don't miss it. 300 and 300 and now give in okay for that. And now let us choose the populations. So first I'm choosing the population here. So I'm selecting the first admin user script. So let's now see the requirement, which is it has 11 users here. So let's now give 11 users. And before that, the time has to be, say for example, one hour, 10 minute, which is going to be the actual time and then choose the custom here and click on edit graph. And here the maximum user is going to be 11. And then let's make the change here, one hour and 10 minute. And then let's give the ramp up and ramp down time. So let's again check it once. So six minute is going to be the ramp up and the ramp up is going to be six minutes and one hour, six minutes. So now we are set with the user. So now we can see here, we have 11 users for this script and let's now move to the second script. So select the second script and you will have the same settings here. And now the second script has 10 users. So let's now do it. So same way. So I have a quick help for this. So every user you have to choose the script and then we have to change the time so one quick help for that is choose every script and now select this script which you want to uh, apply this to the other script right so now we have one or ten minutes and for the other scripts they are just two minutes so just select this user which you want to copy the duration policy select this and then click on apply to all so this will ask whether you are sure to apply this configuration to all the selected population. So give S and now if you go to the other scripts, you can see here that the time is one hour, 10 minutes. So now we are good. So now the next thing that we have to do is again, select the admin users. And here, that is the custom part. Again, do the same here, click apply to all. So give the configuration. I mean, paste that to the other users. So now every user will have 11 users. So now this, it is so simple that we have to just change the user count alone. So let's now see for the second user, it is going to be 10. So now click on edit the graph. And before that, before you change here, if you change it here, what happens is, let me give you a demo. So if you give it as zero, so automatically there will be some changes here. So instead of doing like that, what you can do is if it is 10 already, so let me give you a demo in the next. So now we have, we are setting the ramp up and ramp down and now we are good. So let me give a demo in the next uh, script here. So now the third script, we are in the third script now and we have to do, we have to select for five users, right? So what you have to do is like select the third script, click edit the graph and it is already 11 here, right? can see it is 11 users. So what you can do is, sorry. So what you can do is, 
instead of making any change here, just click on this user, change the user here, make it to five. And same way, select the ramp down here, ramp down part here, change it to five. And now if you change the total number of users to five, there won't be any change. So just three changes and you are good. So same way, let's now go to the next user and the total users has to be 13. So let's now go to the third user and click on edit the graph and we can change it to 13 here. So the only difference is if the user count is lesser, you have to change here first. If the user count is high than what is here, then you can automatically change it here, change it in the maximum number of users and then you can adjust that in the bottom. So this will come into come in, come to practice once you do it multiple times. So but initially just remember if it is less users, you have to change it in the selected points. And if it is more than what the user, what you have here, then you have to first choose here in the maximum number of users. So again, it comes in practice. So once you practice it multiple times, you can get used to it very quickly. And now we have 16 and 56 users. So let's do it quickly. And then we are in the fifth script. And now we are going to change more than what we have in the maximum of users. So let us give 16. And now it's too simple. So just select this, give 16. And again, the starting of the ramp down, give 16. And now, OK. And now the last is going to be 56. So let us do it very quickly. Again, it is more number than what we have here. So just select the ramp, ramp up endpoint and the ramp down starting point. And now we are good. So what we have did so far is we wanted to run a test with 111 users, which is not possible to distribute with 100 percentage. So we have created different populations. I mean, populations for each script. And then we have selected all of them in this summary part. So there are a lot of uh, advantages here as well like say for example if you want to create different scenarios we can create it let me uh, show it for you so you have a one one a one user what if you want to run a user for 130 users that is also even possible because the reason is this scenario is giving us an advantage of selecting any number of scripts that we want to run so say for example so this is a separate set of one one users and if we want to make any changes here, just go to this 130 and make any changes that you want to make for this set of users. And in case, say for example, if you do not want a particular script in the execution, you can just uncheck it and you're done. So the other scripts will perform very well. So in some scenarios where you wanted to avoid particular script uh, while validation or while doing the running, so that is not possible in, during the population because in population you have to, I mean, there will be a lot of uh, fuzzy things will go around. If you if you are removing one particular script, then you have to adjust uh, the user load for the other scripts, right? So if you remember, uh, say for example, if you want to, uh, if you do, you do not want this iPad users to run, so you are giving it a zero. So automatically what happens is there will be 95%. So that will uh, unevenly distribute uh, the user load. But here you have an advantage because if you do not want a particular script to run, you can just uncheck it and you are good. You are good to uh, uh, avoid that script and you can validate the other scripts or you can run or you can test the other scripts. So this, I mean, this is actually a best practice where you can fully utilize on how to distribute the user load in new load. So better practice this, start practicing this. So this will help you and save you a lot of time and this will actually help you to distribute the user load very, very uh, minute level. I mean, because uh, in some cases where you wanted to run a test with, uh, with, with exactly this number of users, and if you are running more than that, then you will be in a, uh, in a situation where you will be giving more throughput to the test or you will be giving less throughput to the test. So start better start practicing this now. So instead of distributing the user load in the populations, start distributing the user load in the populations part under the summary section. So now we have 111 users. So let me just uh, give you a demo. So I'm just starting the test and I will show you how many users are ramping up. 
okay so we don't have the uh, the limitations we have but still i would uh, promise that we will have the exact number of users that you want to run so that is how we can distribute the users very minute and very uh, i mean without missing any users so we can actually use this in doing the test just make sure you practice this in your uh, testing and uh, if you have any queries or any doubts please reach out to me uh, in my uh, linkedin page at vasant m shanmugam and you can also reach me on vasant tce at the rate gmail.com thank you so much i believe this video would be very useful to you and you would have understand something today and kindly don't forget to subscribe to my channel your subscription or the supporting factor please do subscribe kindly don't forget to subscribe the video please do subscribe like the video and share the video with your friends thank you so much we will see in another interesting video on neolod in our next session until then have a good bye